Hi, I'm Don. Today we paint another Warhammer commission. Today we use my red grass glass palette and we paint with speed paints. We paint this Mephiston model. I did a quick basing with foam, texture paints, and of course, skulls, and primed it white. Watch as we turn this mini into this. I painted this model for around 6 hours and I had so much fun. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome or welcome back to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. This is only my second miniature that I painted with speed paints. The first one has no video but has a ton of photos at Patreon. So, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here right now. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use these paints. This painting method or process is totally the reverse of what I'm used to. Usually, I like building up the colors from black primer or even dark foundation like sepia underpainting, purple underpainting, and basically build up thin layers of colors or paints, and I call it glaze layering. First off, this video is not a tutorial because I might get another comment saying that he learned nothing or whatsoever. <laughs> and also, it's important to note that I bought these paints like the Speed Paints 1.0. I just had to try it because I was aware of all the debate and even the cursing in between some accounts about the paints, about the reactivation issue, which... I never experienced. Like, I'm pretty sure there is. But then again, I think because I'm aware of the supposedly issue and also that I like painting with oil paints once in a while, uh, it's kind of impossible for me to rub off the previous layer because I know that there's this reactivation thing. So, also since I'm comfortable painting with oils, I knew that you shouldn't be heavy-handed when you're building, building up layers with paints like this that reactivates or dry very slow. Also, if you're a long-time subscriber, much more if you're a patron, you know that I like switching the use of paints. Like, I like switching paints because it kind of helps with the burnout. Like, you won't experience burnout whatsoever because you're very excited every time you do a project because you're using a new kind of paint or you're combining acrylics and oils or you're painting with just oil. So, switching to different kinds of paints or even brands that are good brands um, will kind of make the projects a bit more exciting. So, I don't really experience burnout because of this technique because I, I switch paints and I even paint different models so that I prevent burnout. So, you'll see in this video that I'm kind of hesitant with the application of the paint. I don't know, I'm not really comfortable with how much paint should I apply on certain areas, how much like the amount of paint that I should apply to produce the best contrast. But I think my first impression is that you apply more so that more paints will go to the recesses. But then again, don't do like too much, like avoid too much pulling because that's not good in like any kind of painting but then again you should be very aware of the amount of paint so that you create those very nice subtle edge highlights at the same time you create nice contrast with these paints I do not like hmm, comparing brands like this one compared to contrast paints or even with express colors, at least here at YouTube. And because I'm not comfortable, I don't really want to say that this is better 
or I enjoyed this better. However, I did said a lot of those stuff at the Patreon video. Now you can see the tabletop quality of the painting. It's pretty good. It's ready for gaming or playing. Although I have to do a little bit of detail painting. And I'm, I'm looking at this paints as like the airbrush. Like if you have a certain area that is dominantly in one color like red, you just paint it with speed paints or airbrush. And then once you're done, you do the detail painting with war paints or other paint brands. So it's a matter of just creating a process, I think, to make your painting a bit more efficient. Also to make my painting a bit more efficient, I did the speed painting like late night around 11 p.m. And then I did all the base colors in less than an hour and then just let, let the model dry or cure overnight. So after letting it cure overnight, it's just a matter of highlighting and detail painting. Now, Army Painter's motto or marketing like thing is that you will paint faster. You paint faster with Speed Paints or Army Painter so that you have more time for gaming. But since I don't really play war gaming, I play like skirmishes and tabletop games with my kids. But then again, now that for my content, I have more time for detailing and highlighting because you paint the base colors faster. Like I say in most of my videos, the painting of the base colors, the foundation colors, doesn't really matter. You could use an airbrush, contrast paints, or speed paints, or like build up your layers with basic layering. Because the most important part if you want a really good display quality painting is the detail painting and the highlights and of course the shades that will add to the color depth of your painting. So since the painting of the base colors of this Mephiston was really, really fast, I had the patience and time to really make sure that the highlighting and even the freehand on the sword is very nice. So I had more time because the base colors were fast. I had more time and more patience to really put in time to make sure that the model is looking pretty good. Now, before I reveal a ton of thanks to all my patrons, without them, this channel won't be possible. So that's it. I'm very, very happy with the result of this Mephiston painting. I'm sure the client will be happy too, hopefully. And I learned a couple of things like I need to get comfortable with the amount of speed paint that you should apply on certain areas. If it's a big area, use a bigger brush and apply more paints. And then make sure that your process is efficient by painting late night so that the paints, the speed paints will cure overnight and then you could do some detail painting and highlighting and you'll be done by noontime. So needless to say, I really, really enjoy the painting with speed paints. Although admittedly, I need to get more comfortable with it. But I'm looking at so many content for this paints, the speed paints 1.0. But then again, I should be getting the 2.0 very soon. So I need to really pump out all this content with the 1.0 before the 2.0 arrives. The Speed Paints 1.0 is already phased out. It's out of production. So my plan is, if I see it on sale, I'm getting all these paints because they're really, really good. The reactivation was not an issue for me. One, because I think I'm light-handed and also I'm used to painting with oils. 
So expect a ton of Army Painter content here at my channel in the next couple of months. That's it, Pansit. I hope you like the video and watch these other videos.